hey guys welcome back once again in this video i am going to show you how nested object destructuring work in javascript and how to use it well as you can see here i have a simple object person which contains name age and here we have another one complex object address and inside that I have another one complex permanent and temporary address okay and here we have phone number and we have two phone number which is a array okay so before get started here let's talk about what is the traditional way of accessing a object so here if I want to access this name what I have to do is I have to write person dot name and here it will give me this value vikas okay and now if i want to access here person a so i need to write person a which is gonna to give me 24 and let's consider if i want to use this variable 10 times so i have to write all the 10 times this one person dot name person dot age okay so this is what a traditional way watch but right now in es6 they have introduced new functionality destructuring means by using the destructuring we can get the property so first of all uh, we are trying to destructure this person object so here we need to write this person okay and here on left side what we have to do is const and here we are doing object destructuring so object in the sense curly bracket so here we wrote curly bracket okay and here we have property called name age and address and phone at the root level so right now here i can write name and i will get the value of name here so let me do console log and print this value yes okay so here as you can see i got this result vikas and now uh, if i want to destructure this property age so what i have to do is comma age well so here age and now if i run getting age as well well so this is all about a simple way so now here if I want to destructure array, so how can I do that? So for as well, I have to write here address and I will have this address field. So here address and let me execute. So here as you can see address is a object which contains two things permanent and here temporary. Address is a object. So we need to go inside and destructure it. This is called nested destructuring so for that here we have to write colon and here again curly bracket once we will give this curly bracket we can go inside and we can destructure any one of the property of address that means we have two property here permanent and temporary so let me go with permanent okay and now if i run this here it is gonna to give me this error that address is not defined because this address doesn't exist anymore means definitely i have to use this permanent right now so here permanent and as you can see i got this permanent address from this object okay and now if i want temporary i can write here temporary and i will get here temporary address so comma temporary and let me do this so here as you can see i am getting both one by one so now here permanent is again one of the object and now i need to get the city name only well so again i need to do colon and here curly bracket and inside this curly bracket i need to define which property i want so from here i am looking for city so i will here type city and if i execute this one it is gonna to complain me this permanent is 
not defined because here we are destructuring further so here i will now use ct and here as you can see i am getting chennai okay so what if you want to change something change the variable name because as i mentioned this ct means the key name have to match with this value right so what if you want to change variable name so in that case here what you have to do is use here colon after colon you can provide a different name so let's call it as username okay and here let me try to access so console dot log name so now it is gonna to complain again that name is not defined because we have renamed this name as a username so here user name and now let's save it and execute it so here as you can see i got this value figures okay so now if i want to change here this city name so what i have to do only is colon and here home town okay so now it will complain me that city doesn't exist so let me write here hometown okay and here as you can see i am getting chennai well so this is all about the object destructuring so right now here as you can see i have this phone number which is a again a complex data type of array so now how we will destructure it so for that here let me comment this line what we can do is here comma and we can write this phone okay so here let's do console dot log and here we will have phone now printed so we got this array okay so now what if i want to destructure more so here i know very well that this is a array of type so right now instead of giving curly bracket after this colon i need to give a square bracket array destructuring work on index so i can give my own variable name by ourselves okay so let's call it as first as a mobile number okay and now let's print this value so if i save it and execute it will complain that phone doesn't exist that's correct and now here mobile number and if i print here it is gonna to get me the first value of zeroth index here as you can see okay and now if i want second one i can write here another one key so let's call it as telephone okay and copy it and paste it here okay so as you can see i got both the number well what if i am trying to access a other element so other uh, which doesn't exist okay so here other and now as you can see here we got this value as a undefined here it have to be comma and definitely we will get undefined so here as you can see because that index itself is not existing well so right now instead of destructuring in a single line i i don't want to destructure phone here i want to destructure somewhere else so for that here let's cut this from here so let it be phone and let's consider i want to destructure here this array so i have to write const and here i need to copy this mobile number and telephone by giving the square bracket because this is the array destructuring and equal to i have to pass the object from which i need to destructure so in that case it's phone so right now here as you can see other is not defined okay so i remove that other and here as you can see i am able to access this mobile number and telephone number and if you want to access phone as well you will be able to do that because you are breaking this into two different steps okay so here i will have the phone access and here i am destructuring going further as well the first thing we have to notice in array and object destructuring is here 
if you are going with object we need to go with your curly bracket if you are going with array we have to go with square bracket and in the case of object the name the here whatever the name we are providing key name must have to be same and in case of array you can define by your name because it's working based on the index value okay guys that's it for this video you can find this code in description of this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section and if you like this work do like share and subscribe see you in next video thanks for watching